What is up guys, welcome back to another Destiny 2 video with today's topic focusing on the Energy Converter mod. A wonderful and all powerful mod that can allow you to gain a super within a few seconds and I honestly truly mean that. The mod was first released in Seasonal Rivals and for what it does I expected all players who were playing that season to instantly pick it up the moment it was made available. And it's quite a fascinating ability it can provide from providing you a 10 to 50% super energy. The effect of the mod is simple but very powerful and when used in super base builds, for each stack of charge of light you get and then you use your grenade after, you get a percentage of super energy depending on how much you have stacked. For example, 1 charge of light equals 10%, 3 equals 30% and 5 equals 50% with 5 being the max you can have in total. What this basically means is that if you have a fully masterwork weapon and the charge with light mod, then you can utilize this mod all the time in PvE, PvP, raids, nightfalls, etc. and have an easy way to get in your super 50% ahead of everyone else. But one thing that isn't explained to users is how it only works when you're not over the 50% super regen bar you currently have. Now let me explain to those that are not familiar with this. Your super bar goes up in increments like shown and depending on what weapon, ability or buff is active, it will increase said bar by a percentage. This mod as I explained goes up in percentage, but is capped when your super bar is over the 50%, so you'll need to stay below 50% of your super bar for the effects to kick in. Here's a kicker though, if you currently have a super bar at say 30% and you have the following mod at times 5 for 50%, then you're only getting back 20% from said mod and it will not go any further than that. On top of that, the rest of the charge with light that you had is now gone and truthfully gone to waste. What this means is that if you wish to utilize this mod for the 50% bonus, for example, then you need to make sure you come charged with light at times 5 and your super bar is at 0. However, the good thing about this is that if you're over the 50% super bar on your end, then the mod won't activate, which overall saves you time with regrinding again. So you can see the pros and cons to using the mod. Get free super energy via charge with light from 10 to 50%. But you can also face the risk of losing your charge of light depending on how much super energy you already currently have and upon death, you lose all your charges and will need to redo it all again. But one of the most important things to be aware of with the mod is how it can currently work well with certain exotics in game. The Hunter's Shard of Galanar for Middle Tree Solar can passively regen the user's super depending on how many kills they get with super. What you can do though is combine this with the mod and get all your super back for one super and this has to do with how the exotic works. The exotic will passively regen depending on how many kills are done, but depending on where your super bar is currently at, it will work off from wherever it is and refund you the amount you're earned. This in practice with a full stack and use the moment your super has been activated should refund you with a full or near full amount of super. Its effects can also work well with middle tree void and doomfang or top tree void with skull of dire ahankara and etc. Any exotic that focuses on super regen is where the mod can really flex its wings and allow players to create super base builds more often in PvE environments. Not so much through PvP though because of the risk with the charge of lights, but it can still work here and there. Unlike the shards, not all exotics work in the same manner as it and in fact the skull of dire ahamkara for example would require you to use it the moment your super has been activated which is a very tight frame you've got to do it in so it's not always best to always use it with certain exotics. Overall though this is a must have mod considering how powerful your super is and how reliable it can be for endgame content where you need a quick boost in super here and there. Now like I mentioned the mod works well when combined with a super region exotic because of the synergy being provided but not all of them work in a way that will make it so you can achieve your maximum success of getting 100% super there and then. You will have to practice around with the exotics and see how they interact with each other but alternatively using the mod without an exotic is still viable and I would highly recommend you use this when you do get the chance to nab it. So if you enjoyed the video then please leave a like and a sub and also follow me on twitter to keep up to date with destiny content if you dig that type of stuff link is down below. But once again thanks for stopping by and I'll see you all in the next one.